Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have a great tip for you today if you use Zoom, which I'm a big fan of. I already have a meeting running. I'm going to pull that meeting up right now. So hopefully you can see me up top here recording. This is me. Um, I'm also in the meeting. Let me turn this off. As someone named Wilson to show you this. So there are two participants right now in my Zoom meeting. What I want to show you is over here to the right, you have something called, there's your participant panel. There's me, there's Wilson, which is actually me, but you know what I'm saying. Down below, this is called nonverbal feedback right here. And I use this a lot during meetings. This is actually really cool. Let me show you first how to get this turned on and then second how to use it. So to turn this on and get it to work, you actually have to go sign into your Zoom account. So I've already signed in right up here. Over on the left, you don't go to meetings, you go to settings. And then at the top, you've got these three tabs. Make sure you're on meetings. And I found it easiest just to do control F for find type in the word verbal and I'm looking for nonverbal there it is one time two times so I found it and you want to make sure you turn that on because it's off by default so I've already done that and that is it then you can minimize this so now when you start your meetings and I've already started one this appears and it appears in the participants panel. So if I close this, oops, if I close the participant panel, I'm in my meeting, I'm hosting, I select manage participants, they can see this, and I might say as an example, how is the pace going? And they can simply come in here and click, click yes so I just got a yes uh, I can clear all Let me pull this down just a tad and then later in the meeting I'm still going on someone says they need a coffee break coffee has a number one now so this is a cool little feature again I'm gonna do a clear all let me give you a tip while we're here in Zoom. This is just me. In fact, I almost did this just a second ago. This applies to your participant panel. It also applies to your chat. So if I click on chats, there's my participants. There's my group chats. There you go. This is my recommendation. It applies to both participants and to chats. If I hit this X, assuming I'm going to close participants, look what happens. I've done this before. I've actually clicked on end meeting for all because I was in a rush. So I'm going to hit cancel. I suggest that both the participant panel and the chat panel you always pop them out, both of them. So there's my participants, there's my chats, both are popped out. If I have two monitors, I would put these on a separate monitor or I would do something similar to what I'm doing right now. That way if I hit an X to close, I don't end the meeting, I just close the panel. So that's just my tip there for you. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am using the Logitech C920. It's my favorite webcam. There's a link down below if you want to purchase it. It's really inexpensive. It is the best webcam around, in my opinion, for the money. There's a Logitech C922 that's out, but I actually still prefer the C920. Anyway, thank you for your time. Have a great weekend.